Nanay, I'm gonna check your blood pressure, okay? Okay. Reggie Albano is a family nurse practitioner based south of San Diego. Her patients live up to 50 miles away from her office. She visits some of them at home, okay, like yeah, Maria de Jesus, yeah. who was diagnosed with kidney cancer last year. One of her kidneys had a mass, and it has to be removed. So there's a lot of emotional, mental issues that she was having. Any concerns now that you want me to know? I was worried because I don't think I cannot survive anymore because of my AIDS. She was crying. She said, am I going to leave? Am I going to pass through this? So I offered her to see a psychiatrist at that time. But Reggie knew a psychiatric referral would probably go unanswered, a recurring problem that frustrated Reggie, who arranges for a broad scope of services for patients on dialysis. But treatment for mental health and substance use disorder has been out of reach. A lot of my patients, if not all, have be behavioral health issues. But we cannot find anybody that can take the patient. The first appointment we can get is three months for, you know, and that's not good. We are seeing a huge shortage of mental health providers. In California, nearly 75% of adults with some mental illness couldn't get care. The big reason is that we have significant swaths of the state where there are no mental health providers. In response, four University of California schools of nursing created a one-year certificate program to train more psychiatric mental health nurse practitioners, or PMHNPs. The program provides specialized instruction on the management of behavioral health conditions, including prescribing psychiatric medications. And this program is innovative because most of it is offered online. The purpose of this program was to be able to create an, an, an academic curriculum that could be delivered to people in their homes in the rural and most underserved areas of the state so that they would have access to the excellence of the University of California from their rural county. When I really know that there is a need for a psychiatric mental health provider, I started looking into it. And when I saw UCSF, only one year and it's online, I'm like, sign me up. I want to bridge the gap for my patients. And that will happen soon. Reggie, a recent graduate of the program, is now studying to sit for her national board certification. That certification allows them to bill and code for psychiatric services. It gives them expertise in the treatment of more moderate to severe mental illness. If it was not online, I don't think I would not be able to do it. Online has worked for me. Vandy Loft is a graduate of the program. She saw a real need for trauma treatment among the refugee population she serves in San Jose, California. When I was a nurse here, a follow-up with a psychiatrist would take three months. Seeing that long wait list of, of patients needing intakes, uh, I, I wanted to be a part of the solution. Upon graduation, Vandy agreed to serve as a preceptor, a critical mentoring role within the program, also offered virtually. One of her students is Danielle Di Stefano. And does anything in particular wake you up? The nightmares. The nightmares. The challenge has been we can recruit these students from these rural most areas, but then how are we going to clinically train them? And so one of the ways that we've worked around that is to have students in our most rural regions where we don't have preceptors to actually train remotely. And how many hours a night do you sleep? I think about maybe four to okay. five hours. The benefit for my student is this saves them a lot of travel time to be able to connect with their clients. My thoughts are to go up on Herzl Loft to 100. 50 to 100 is very safe. I think that's a good call. I get to witness her learning that interactive piece with the client as well to see that she made a difference in their lives. The future of this work is really in telemedicine. So I think in that respect, to have the training, to learn, to, to do the work through telemedicine is really beneficial. I was thinking of keeping the process in where... When Danielle graduates, she will join Vandy and Reggie to help move this program closer to its goal to certify 300 new PMHNPs in California over five years. I have a tremendous amount of hope for this program. And Reggie says she now has hope for her patients, like Maria. I can do more for the patient, right? If they need a psychiatric evaluation, then I will be there. 
what's exciting is that, hey, I don't need a referral. I, my patient doesn't need to wait three months. That's me. It's a win-win situation for my patient and for myself.